This 2023, we are heading towards elections on the 23rd of August 2023. And um, there are various debates in the nation of Zimbabwe. Some people are saying sanctions are destroying the nation of Zimbabwe. Why least some are arguing that corruption is taking a precedence to destroy the economy of Zimbabwe. But both factors, we point them to ZANU-PF because it is responsible for the human rights abuses for the causes which made the sanctions to be placed on Zimbabwe, although it's no longer allowed to say uh, like that. Uh, so I'm not going to delve into that issue of sanctions. Let us talk about the issue of corruption. It, these are not my words which I'm going to uh, present to you. These are words from um, a certain expert who know very well how corruption is destroying the institutions in the nation of Zimbabwe. So we need to take a look onto this interview which was done by Trevor Nube so that you get to understand the real problems Zimbabwe is facing. Mm -hmm. uh, Zinara operates, used to operate 29 targets. Uh, 19 of those are still being operated by Zinara. Uh, the other ones that are on the uh, Plum Tree, Lawayo, Arari, Mutari, Forbes Road have been now taken over by another entity that is running those toll gates. But uh, those that are being run by Znara, they use a software that is used in uh, collecting the funds. Mm -hmm. uh, it's charged, the software is being charged at 18% of the revenue collected. To put it into perspective, in 2016-2017, that translated to 9 million United States dollars for the software annually. Mm. Similarly, the software that is being used for the licensing of vehicles at the various outlets that are operated by Zinara, which licensing used to be done at the district office or the city of Harare or other local authorities, that was taken over. And again, there is another 60 million collected from the vehicle license fees, or used to be collected then, which again translated to another $9 million, US dollars, for the software used for the vehicle licensing. Mm. And when you add, and it's all in the reports, when you add the actual collection fees of about $7 million, that entity is collecting or was collecting up to 25 million US dollars for the software. Do we know this entity? Yes. What, are, what are they called? They are there in the reports. Okay. Uh, Southern Trading Company. Who owns that uh, Southern Trading Company? It's not clear uh, exactly who owns it. Uh, but uh, if you look at the reports that I've referred to, uh, the uh, Forensic Audit Report and uh, the Parliamentary Portfolio Committee Report and Zinara, the details are presented there. Mm -hmm. uh, there have been efforts by previous uh, boards uh, to try and get away from this uh, situation, to try and uh, redo or renegotiate these contracts, which obviously look... Uh... So, you have heard from uh, the, this uh, uh, person, this man, uh, he's a civil engineer, he spoke very much about the challenges at Zinara. If you take a look on um, uh, more than 25 million annually being just taken for a software, you understand that we are going nowhere. The question is, where are our software engineers? Why are we not developing our own softwares to deal with these issues? Because a software can be developed by a Zimbabwean without any problem. We have seen various softwares being developed by Zimbabweans. Why is the government of Zimbabwe not investing in the development of softwares? And why are they relying on a third party softwares? So this is an issue we really need to explore as young Zimbabweans and understand that when we say, let us vote for Advocate Nusso Chamisa, it's not because of hatred, it's because of we need to change the course of doing business, we need to change the status quo, we need to change how to do business. We need to cut the costs such that that money
money is directed elsewhere if you take 25 million 25 million can develop so many schools uh, we are talking about uh, 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 about more than 50 schools which can be developed from that money so Tim Zimbabwe when we are saying let us focus on the fundamentals you will see that uh, Advocate Wilson Chavisa is just going to cut the cost and start investing that money in other portfolios and other departments and that is the first step we are going to take so this is it let us meet in other episodes and other broadcasts in the comment section please let us talk what do you think about this